Hello, this is Clint Louie coming to you today with Five Minutes from Friendship, and I thank you for tuning in. Do you remember when Peter and John, when they were arrested? The Bible gives that account in the book of Acts. They were arrested, and the Bible indicates to us that Annas, the high priest, the men who arrested Peter and John, they weren't impressed by Peter and John. They weren't impressed by Peter and John's education or lack thereof, uh, any of that. But they took note. They were impressed when they saw how these men, Peter and John, had been with Jesus. And they saw how these men exemplified bold Christian faith and that they had been with Christ. I want to be an example. Do you want to be an example? The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 12, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation, in charity and spirit, in faith, in purity. The Bible says, be an example of the believers. People who are examples, they are courageous. I mean, they're the ones that dare to stick their necks out. They're out in front of the pack. They're not the followers just going along with what everybody else says or does. No, these are the people with conviction. They're courageous. They have conviction. And they're going to stand for what they know is right and true. I want to ask you, are you an example? Are you that bold example? The Bible gives us six areas in which you and I are to be examples of the believer. 1 Timothy 4.12, you can read them. Six areas. The first one, he says, in word. What we say. And not only the words we speak, but the tones in which we speak our words. Sometimes we have the right words, but we definitely do not have an exemplary Christ-like tone in our words. And we must give attention that we are examples in word. And then in conversation, that word conversation doesn't mean like a phone conversation. No, no. That's a word that means our manner of life, our day-to-day -day habits, our activities, just day by day. And I want to ask you, are we being examples in just our manner of life? How we go to work, if we show up on time, if we work hard, how we spend time with our families, and on and on and on, but our conversation. And then thirdly, he says we must be examples in charity. Of course, you know that word means love. Love. God says, are you that example of the person who will put his arm around somebody else and comfort them in their hour of need? Are you the one who will give to the person in need? Are you the one who will show that kindness are you the good Samaritan who will stop and help the weary traveler, the beaten traveler, the fallen traveler, when others have passed, on, passed him by and forgotten about him? Be an example in charity. And then he says, be an example in spirit. In spirit, in other words, enthusiasm. Dr. Oliver B. Green, famous preacher of yesteryear, he said that some Christians drag into God's house on Sunday morning as though their next step would be their last step. Many arrive late and there is no enthusiasm there. Our spirit ought to be aflame with the fire of God. I'm going to ask you, are you an example in spirit? And then he says, be an example in faith. In faith. We ought to have that exemplary faith in God. Peter got out of the boat. And in front of the other 11 disciples, he walked on the water to go be with Jesus. Be an example in faith. Dare to take God at his word. Dare to stand on the word when you have nothing else. And then finally, he says, be an example in purity. In purity. This is, of course, 1 Timothy. Paul wrote to Pastor Timothy. And Timothy labored in a place called Ephesus, a city filled with debauchery, a city filled with sex practices and just immorality at every corner. But there was a man that was supposed to be pure. And I say to you and me today, be, be an example in purity. What are the things we watch on television? How are the ways we speak to people? Are they pure? What are our motives like? Are they pure motives? Our minds, are they pure minds? We must set the example. So these are six ways to be an exemplary Christian. And this is Clint Louie. I hope you have a great day.